Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power Apps collection contains with various examples. First of all, open your Power Apps with your respective Microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas app, just click on the create button and select blank app. And here you can choose blank canvas app then click on the create button and here provide the app name. And here you can see the format as by defaultly as tablet format then click on the create button. Microsoft provides many functions and operators in Power Apps to manage the data. Unfortunately some functions may be missing from the Power Apps canvas app like contains function. We can use the contains function to filter Power Apps collection based on the specific word or text. You can also use in and exact in operators to serve the same purpose as contains function. Now I will explain the Power Apps collection contains a specific value. You can see here this is my SharePoint online list as product details. Inside this I have added different columns with a various data types. Now I want to take this choice column like manufacturer and I want to filter this column based on the Samsung values. To achieve it go to the Power Apps and you should connect the respective SharePoint online list to the Power Apps. The further go to the data section here click on the add data and search sharepoint and select sharepoint and here you can choose the respect to sharepoint online site then choose the respect to sharepoint online list like product details Then click on the connect button. To create a Power Apps collection, go to the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection product things and this is my SharePoint online list like product details. Now click on the run on start property to get the created collection. And if you want to display the Power Apps collection, just insert the data table control. And make it as alignment correctly. Then set its item property as collection name. And to display the collection fields on a data table, just click on the edit fields. Here you can select the add field option and choose your respective fields. Then click on the add button. Now insert a button control. And change the button text. And set its on select property like. See here this is my new Power Apps collection name and we can use this filter function to find a set of records that matches one or more criteria. And this is my SharePoint online list and Samsung is the name of the column that we want to filter. Now insert another data table control. and make it as alignment correctly and set its item property as new collection name like product collection and to display the power apps collection fields on a data table just click on the edit field option 
here select the add field and choose your respective fields now go to the preview button and click on the button control to display the power apps collection with only specific records next i will explain power app check if value exit in collection for that insert a another blank screen then insert a text label and set its text property then insert a text input control and rename it as text email then insert a button control and change the text property then set its on select property like here you can see this if function helps to evaluate a multiple unrelated records and count rows function is helps to count the number of records in a table and this is my collection name and this is my column name like enter user email and this is my text input control name like text email and we can use notify function to display a notification message to the user at top of the screen and this is my collection like collection employee email now to display the power apps collection for that insert a data table control then set its item property as collection name like collection employee email and to display the collection fields on a data table just go to the edit fields then select a add field button and here you can choose the column name then click on the add button now go to the preview button here enter the user email like then click on the submit button and here you can see the email is added on the collection now enter a another email then click on the submit button and you can try the same user email here you can see it will not take and you will get a notification message like this user email address already exists please enter new email address in the last i will explain power apps collection set variable from specific value for that insert a another blank screen see here this is my another sharepoint online list as issue tracker now i want to add this list as a collection for that go to the power apps and connect the respective sharepoint online list for that go to the data section and select the add data here select the sharepoint and choose your respective sharepoint online site then choose your respective sharepoint online list as issue tracker then click on the connect button to create a power apps collection go to the app object and set its on start property here you can see this is my collection name and this is my sharepoint online list then click on the run on start property to get a created collection now insert a data table control then set its item property as collection name like issue collection 
and to display the power apps fields on a data table just go to the edit field option here select the add field and choose your respective fields insert a button control then set its on select property like here you can see this set function works the global variable that we are available in the entire app and where record is the global variable name and this is my collection name and laptop and outlook is the collection columns and s is the true value and no is the false value now go to the preview button then click on the button control and once you click on the button control you will get the variable value as s yes friends this is all about power apps collection contents i hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you